all right welcome back so in this particular tutorial we're going to see how we can build a name entity recognition using streamlit okay so previously we have seen how to do it in google collab right or if you have also practiced alongside using jupyter notebook or jupyter lab all right but this time we want to um, make sure that we deploy it using streamlit and then um, interact with it um, via our browser okay so we're trying to build an interactive web app for name entity recognition okay so based on the same concept that we did in the lab session we're going to do the same thing here in the, um, the deployment stage okay and this one is going to be very interesting um, in the notebook we saw how to do it in the notebook but this one we want it to be more interactive and more interesting uh, okay so um let me demonstrate how this one is going to work over here so i'm just gonna get any test from the internet okay so that you, you see how it works okay so maybe we're just gonna search for maybe um maybe ai news or something i think that's that's that should work okay so i'm just gonna search for something like that anything will work anything will work okay anything it's not that you have to search for ai news i've just i'm just using ai news because we are doing something related to ai okay so i mean i'm just gonna copy a test from here let me see if this one is too much of an image i i want i mean a practical test right so let's um go here all right so this, this is quite a test over there so i'm just going to copy this entire test okay let me go all the way um starting from i think this one okay starting from here all the way up all right so it's kind of a huge um test over here okay all right so all the way to this place let's copy and then go and test it in our app to see if it works all right so now once you do that now first thing that we're going to do here is to tokenize so you can press this tokenize button or you can use uh, if you're mac you can use um the command and then the enter button to do it or if you're on windows you can use control enter okay and then um that's it so i'm just gonna press on this tokenize so once i do that you can see that it's running over here all right and you're gonna see the output very impressive right very impressive so here you see that we have the index right and the test the respective test has been tokenized for, for us and then you see we have the limitization over here right part of speech tagging and so on everything has been generated right just with that one click all right you can also click here you can see all the um token attributes that have been shown over here right if you don't want any of them you can just click on that you can just click on the i mean the cancel button here and then it's just gonna go just like that okay it's very interesting now there's another part over here if you go to this place you can see that we have the um ner over there which is the name entity recognition if we click on that it's gonna take us to that page and you can see that here it has generated respective name entity recognitions for us okay that's that's great okay all the name entity entities have been generated and you have the tokens over here as well okay all of them have been generated it's quite robust and quite smart okay to do that you can also specify which one of these ones that you, name entities that you want okay what i want cardinal date event geopolitical entities language location money anything that you want you can just um, have it over here right so as simple as that okay you, if you remember in the lab session we did all that okay we did all these things manually um step by step but you can see over here you don't really need to do that you can easily use an inbuilt um model over there to do that okay using the concept of transfer learning and then you can easily do it okay so i'm going to walk you through step by step how to build this then okay so that later on you can use it in your workplace you can use it in your i mean further projects okay to build on top of that it's quite robust all right it's simple but very very robust over here okay so um let's get started and i'll walk you through step by step right from the scratch